Hey, welcome back to Star Technology, where in the last video, we made these three chemical plants. They're not currently running because I've been leaving this on its own for a bit to just kind of make a bunch of platinum stuff and make all the other stuff that I've got in the requester. So now I should have 10,000 spare of everything I get out of the plat line and a bunch of other useful things. And I didn't just set that going and go AFK, I used that time to upgrade some other things. Most notably, I put trinium and coils everywhere that I could, which probably didn't matter. I could probably get away without it, but I may as well. I kind of like the look of trinium coils anyway. Also, I think, yeah, the fusion reactor's finally stopped running. <laughs> so maybe I can use it for other things, maybe I should just set it to make more europium. We'll see, depends how much I end up using it in this video, because now we've pretty much finished ZPM. There's a handful of other things I could do, but energy stuff, kind of redundant. Maybe I do quark tech stuff, but that'll just be like a filler thing if I need to kill time. Substation energy hatch doesn't mean anything, I don't use Greg tech generators. And the 16A hatch I can't do yet. So I'm moving on to UV, and it looks like the main thing in UV is the fusion reactor, the Mark II, and that kind of locks everything else behind it. So I'm going to have to make that before I make the energy hatches even. That would also mean that making the wires isn't terribly useful yet. Yeah, I can't even make the machine hull for the energy converter. I guess I'm going to be working on the fusion reactor then. I thought that wasn't for an another couple episodes. Well, before I do that, I need to get UV circuits. I brought this up at the end of last video. I've been able to do this for a little bit. It doesn't seem too hard. However, 16 computation per tick. I kind of want to test if I can do that. I don't expect the research to work. No. I figured it didn't work last time because I didn't have any computation at all. But now with less than what I needed, maybe it'd just be slower. But I guess not. So, I need to either upgrade this, or make another one. And I think I might be able to just upgrade it. I don't know if the multi-block can be expanded, but it's reasonably simple. So I'd want to expand it to 7x7. Seven seven. How many more of these computation components could I fit then? I could barely fit 8 total, theoretically. So that'd be another five. And to make up for that, I'd need another 10 heat vents. Is it the heat vents? No, it's heat sinks. I am still gonna need a bunch more heat vents. Another 15, because I have one spare. And it's heat vents on top and on the bottom. So that'd be another four. And assuming this works, I won't need any more hatches. I'll just need a bunch more casings and the advanced casings. I think that'd be four more advanced and four more regular casings. And hopefully that's all I'll need to make. If it turns out that I can't just expand this multi-block and I need to make more, then it wouldn't be redundant to make all of this extra stuff, because I'll need extra stuff anyway, but all of my calculations will be wrong. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna have to wait for all of this to finish. And it doesn't seem too bad. There's going to be a bit of babysitting when I have to switch modes on machines, but otherwise it might take 10 minutes to go through. Depends how long it takes in the blast furnace. So in the meantime, I might be able pre to prepare for the next circuit upgrade. Because I think the only thing that was stopping me was, yeah, ZPM energy hatches. Although these cheapest IV tier circuits wouldn't change much they'd just be cheaper. The crystal SOCs... Do I have a blue lens? I have a light blue. I have a sapphire, that works too. So then I should be able to just set that up here, and then I guess just have cheaper circuits? I've got no idea if it'd work. I can make a crystal SOC, that works fine, and that can trigger the quest. Ah, I don't have a recipe for yttrium barium cuprate bolts. That is something I'll need. Hmm, but I seem to have blocked the door. Fine then. I can shrink the pattern providers down, and I guess if I've done it for two of them, I may as well do it for all of these. 
Oh, but now it feels weird having the other blocks around and these ones being shorter. I really don't want to go through and flatten every single pattern provider. Maybe just the others in this room. I don't know. Anyway, I needed to make these yttrium barium cuprate bolts. And I don't have yttrium barium cuprate ingots? I swear I've used this before. No, I was using indium barium. That's what I'm confused with. Okay, so I need yttrium barium cuprate, which I probably could have made a while ago. I don't have a recipe for yttrium though, but it's not used terribly often, and I have over 700 of it. I think I'll be fine. So because this is on circuit 2, I'm gonna have to make a small adjustment to my mixer. This is really jank, but I just want to get this working. But the rest of the patterns should be fine, I just can't fit anything more in the lathe. I'll just quickly add another input bus. And then that should be all of the patterns in place. So, can I make the circuits now? Uh, maybe it's just accidentally put all of the circuit stuff in here. Uh, whoops. I'll just transfer that back. But it did make the yttrium barium cuprate and turn it into ingots. I can't tell if it's working though, because it's making the old recipe too. Well, the only question I had was whether it could process the yttrium barium cuprate. And it's done that fine. I'm just gonna assume it works and move on. And I guess there's also this over here, the cheapest HV and EV circuits. This one I've been able to make for a while. I'm not too sure what I'd gain by doing this, but I may as well. Clearing a quest is clearing a quest. So we need to get the Nacquita doped silicon. Oh, that is quite expensive. Although thankfully, because this is very different, I should be able to automate this and it won't have the recipe conflicts with silicon dust. I just need 8 buckets of argon at a time. And 16 blocks of silicon. Oh, it's silicon ingots, not silicon dust. Uh, that'd take a while, but I, I guess I can do it. So let me see. 144 silicon ingots. I hope that won't take too long. It'd be about a second per ingot. Do two at a time. About a minute to make all of this. Oh, wait a minute. It's already done it. Huh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, the gallium arsenide got smelted. I can't do this on one then. I still have space on two though. And that seems to work. And it's only 12 seconds to make the wafer. That's not too bad. Or the, the bull, not the wafer. So there's that. Then I get 64 at a time. So I can make that very easily. And actually, the Nacquita wafers can make every other wafer. So this could also solve my problems of the phosphorus doped not working. I'd have to change every recipe, but I could have them all do it with Nacquita and they would be a lot more efficient because they'd make a multiple at a time. It requires a clean room, but that's not a problem. I think I'm gonna do that. And that really wasn't that hard to change them all over. Just want to make sure that the, the wafers do actually work. They should. Yeah. And I get a stack at a time. And now I just need to get the purple lens so I can make the ASOC wafers. At this point, dyes are very easy to make. So a lens is not a problem. My biggest problem is where do I put this new input bus? I guess technically it, it fits here. So I should be able to make that AOC wafer then, and yeah it does work, and then turn them into their AOC chips, and then that completes the quest. So then I can go through and update these circuits. Ooh, it does take niobium titanium bolts though, so I've got to make them. And the HV1 takes platinum bolts, but I already have platinum rods. So that is some cheaper circuits now. And I highly doubt there's cheaper versions of the other ones. No, I'm wrong. Yeah. But MV and LV chips are already extremely cheap. And I really don't use them very much. So I think I'm fine to just leave that be. Well, in the time that it's taken for me to upgrade those three circuits, I now have all of the computer components that I should need. Okay, so hopefully 
that pattern works. No, I don't think they actually need to be adjacent. I think it's just total across the face of it. So to try and keep the pattern the same, I'm going to shift it around like that. So that looks a bit nicer. I am missing a spot though. So I'll just make an empty component. I should be able to make that reasonably quickly. Then I can expand this by putting heat vents on the bottom, some more advanced casings, heat vents along the back of this. Just kind of replicating what was there before, but maybe wrong. I'm missing a few blocks. I got, got all the advanced components correct. Uh, I just fell short on the casings and I made one too many heat vents, which makes me think that I missed one, but I shouldn't have. I think I have a spare heat vent because I had an odd number that I was making, but I think... Ah, oh, no, that's probably not how this works. No! Ah, <laughs> oh, I need to make another one. This could have been so cool. It would have been better as well, but I guess that's just not how this works. Okay, that's back to what it was before. Now I just have a bunch of spare components and casings. So I need to make another control block. That hopefully shouldn't take too long. And I guess I can see what I can build up with what I've got left. Because I'm basically making the same thing again on the other side. Well, instantly I need more computer, uh, advanced computer casings. I think I need nine more. I have enough heat vents. And yeah, I have enough of the central components. And I almost have... Actually, I think that is all the casings that I need. Yeah, so it's just those nine advanced casings, the control block, and all the hatches around the back. I'm not missing as much as I thought. There we go. I think that should be everything. No? Hmm. Does it not work mirrored? That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> yep, it just doesn't work mirrored. Okay. But okay, this is working. But for some reason, I can't get it to connect? Huh? Why not? I can connect all the pipes, I just can't have multiple inputs to the one hatch? Hmm. Exactly one reception hatch. Um, I'm not sure what to do about this. Okay, I've been looking it up, and I don't think you can connect multiple research or multiple computers into one research station. The reception hatches just don't work that way. But something that kept coming up was the network switch, because that could apparently combine them into a single output, and then it'd be able to connect. Yeah. And it can, it can convert into any number of it. So I can have one in, three out, three in, one out. And I just need it to be a two in, one out for now. And if that's the case, I'm probably better off moving these, although hmm, it might be easier than if I just move the research station to the side a bit, because then I could fit the, the network switch in the middle. And the network switch is not that complicated. I need just a bunch of casings and some energy hatches. It's kind of nothing. I'm mostly just worried about how expensive... Huh. Okay, so that's not the solution, because under my interpretation, I need the network switch to make it. So, I need to make things that can generate more computation. If I make the advanced computation component, that can do 16. It requires 4 cooling? Hang on a minute. That could just solve my problem for the immediate future. Because I just need one of these and then 4 heat sinks. And it just works. Oh wait, never mind. That's why I didn't make them before, because I need UV. Can I make the active cooling components? Yes. Because those are twice as efficient as the heat sinks, which means I can fit more in. I just need to replace two of them? No, I'd need to replace at least three of them with the active cooling to have a fourth computation component. Okay, so for the time being, I'm just gonna tear this down because I can't have a second one of these yet. I need to make these active cooling components, and I actually have recipes for everything there. And it's not terribly expensive. Then I'll make three of them. I'll stick them up the top, and then put another computation component on the bottom, 
And that should be the 16 computation per tick. I just need to make a bunch of PCB coolant, which I should probably put in the requester if I'm gonna need it. And then I'm gonna need to port a ton of PCB coolant in here. I hope it's PCB coolant I need and not like water or something. Yeah. So then if I turn it on, it should be able to work. It should be making exactly 16. So then, oh, yeah, it's working. So there we go. Research for the UV circuit. So now I can actually make that recipe, which I already have everything I need for it. Uh, not the HSSE frames though. And I just wanna make sure I have the right quantities of everything. So I'll just queue up a UV circuit. I should be able to make everything. And here's hoping it just works. Oh, wait, it's just done it. Okay, I think I, I missed the moment where it started. Okay, a UV circuit, <laughs> finally. So that's gonna open up a lot of things. It hasn't quite opened up the fusion reactor Mark II yet. For that I need uranium rhodium ingots. I think I have that. Yeah, so that's easy. So now I've unlocked the fusion reactor. But I don't think I have time left in this video to get any substantial progress on it. But I should still have some time left in this video. You know what? I mentioned the Quark Tech armor at the start. I honestly don't think this is out of my range. So sure, I'll make this for my filler. I need to make ruthenium foils. So I need ruthenium ingots. I need rhodium wires. So I need rhodium ingots too. I need liquid titanium, and then a lapatronic energy orb. I think I've made one of these before, but either way, they're not too terribly hard. Oh no, I made a lapatron crystal before. I didn't make a recipe for it though, so I've got to go down this line. <laughs> and that was a surprisingly big line. But anyway, that's everything I need for the helmet. Anything else new across the rest of these? Surprisingly, no. And these are all made in the assembler. So, I should be able to just queue this up while I wait. I just want to see. It doesn't seem too hard to then go to the advanced Quark Tech suit chest plate. Depends on the Graviton energy unit, which also, it's expensive, but I think I can make that. So screw it. I'm going to go the whole way here. I also need to get this oh, dense rhodium plated palladium, which... I could probably just do that manually. I only need two of it. And then a Lapatronic Energy Orb Cluster? Oof, requires research. I can probably do that. So I might be able to then go all the way to the advanced chest plate, but first I need to figure out why it's not making the Lapatronic Energy Orb. Ah, that would be why. It doesn't have enough tin. <laughs> I'll just fix it manually for now, but that isn't the problem. Hmm. That was one of the problems. Doesn't have enough platinum plates. It needs eight, it has one. Just to make sure it does have the right amount of everything else. So again, I'll just fix it up manually and that's fixed it. Now it's making it. If I put the right amount of platinum plates in. So hopefully it'll just make all of these. I might need to help it along a little bit, but that's it. It's made the whole quark quarktet set. And I guess just like with the nano muscle, it's gonna take me a little while to get used to it. It's very green. But I need to see if I can make the advanced quark tech. I need to make the dense rhodium myself. And then the lapatronic orb cluster needs research. So I can research that real quick. So now I should be able to queue up the advanced quark tech chest plate. And it might take a little while, but I should be able to make it. Okay, it's making the, the energy orb cluster. Hopefully I Gave it the right stuff. Hmm. I have a suspicion it is full. This isn't long enough. <laughs> okay, I need to extend this further then. I do have a spare assembly line casing. So I just need two more laminated glass, a ULV input bus, three solid machine casings, and two assembly line gratings. And I can just extend this out by one block. And now it's working to make the Lapatronic energy orb clusters, or just the one actually. And then it makes the advanced quark tech chest plate. There we go. 
and surprisingly it doesn't need to be charged but it still has supply mode hmm i don't know it just doesn't show up until i actually start charging it although this one's not charging hang on i guess it needs his epm thing so i should probably make a better turbocharger but that's something i can do on my own and all of this stuff charges very slowly but i guess it's still charging hang on is it quicker to charge things using supply mode possibly i'm not sure it doesn't seem to be spending any of it i don't know well i'll charge this all up on my own it's just going to take a long time but i think that's enough for this video either way most of the things in this video i was not expecting to do whoa i am very fast now i didn't notice pretty much all i had planned was the uv circuit but that took longer than i thought so upgrading the existing circuits and getting the quark tech stuff was completely unplanned but i've done it and i was going to do it eventually because i do still plan on completing every quest that is actually possible and who knows maybe it's going to be useful <laughs> i'm not entirely sure but the circuit stuff is definitely useful so next time i think we'll get onto the fusion reactor and this is going to be a whole ordeal i don't see it being too hard because the main hard part for the mark one was setting up the assembly line to actually make it but i have that so depending on how hard it is to get some of the machine casings i might be able to smash it out in one or two videos we'll see either way next video i don't think i'm going any further than the fusion reactor and the rest of uv shouldn't take that long all things considered i don't know We'll figure that out when we get to it. For now, the next goal is the Fusion Reactor Mark II, and that's going to have to wait till next video. So, I'm just going to call this one here. I'm pretty happy with this. So, bye.